This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 5th of February. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions and temperatures right around or just above seasonal averages for the next few days. A bit of forecast uncertainty as we get toward the middle and latter part of next week, but for the moment, it looks like rain chances will stay minimal and temperatures will remain mild. We'll talk about all of that and everything else in just a moment, but first, yes, it's Friday, so that means it's Photo Friday here where we take a look at some of the photos and videos that you guys have submitted. And one of the popular topics this week is the sunset from Wednesday night. Absolutely beautiful. If you missed it, well, check it out. I took this off of the Channel 10 Twitter feed, and that's a look um, just after 6 p.m. My goodness, is that beautiful. David Parnell caught a shot of it as well. Here's that. And Chris Martin has a picture from his vantage point in Ahwatukee. This right here, this looks like a Bob Ross painting. You've got some alto cumulus, some alto stratus in there, some cirrus clouds as well, and that just looks spectacular. That's the photo of the week right there, my goodness. And then uh, Chris Martin has a shot from last week. This is uh, some of the rain and thunderstorms that came through. That's a nice rain curtain there just around sunset looking eastward. And then Ryan Seek has some leftover photos from last week's storm action as well from across uh, the area. And you can see spectacular views there, as always, from Ryan. And that picture right there, that's, that's beautiful as well. I mean, every one of these shots, you guys always do an amazing job. It is uh, fantastic to see your work. And that's why we do Photo Friday. And, of course, Arizona proving once again that there's never a missed opportunity for uh, great pho uh, photography here. These are from Pete. And you can see more shots of the uh, skyline, the horizon. I'm not sure when these were taken. I, this one looks like it could have been from Wednesday night as well. And then Tyler has some pictures that are left over from last week from up north. Uh, the snow and the fog that you can see there. And this one is from Forest Lakes. This one here uh, looks like it's from around the Payson area, or just outside of Payson up along the rim. And then from down here in the valley, he has a couple of pictures as well from the thunderstorms that produced some uh, heavy rain and hail. You can see those here. And uh, so if you want to get in on Photo Friday, you can do so. Groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. It's groffshow at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. 75 degrees was the afternoon high. 57 was that very mild morning low. The normal high, 69. The normal low, 47. And as we take a look outside right now here at 5.30 a.m., we've got clear sky out there, and we are starting out at 48 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point at 30, relative humidity 50%. The winds are light, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures this morning, 37, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 38 in Goldfield. Most locations through the metro are in the 40s to near 50. They'll cool off a couple, of, a couple more degrees before the sun comes up. Here's the upper air pattern across the country right now. A broad trough over the eastern two-thirds of the nation. We are under a northwesterly flow aloft. And that should keep temperatures relatively moderate for the next couple of days before we warm it up by the weekend and next week. And here's the watch warning map. A number of winter weather advisories over parts of the Rockies. Some wind issues up there as well. And over portions of the Great Lakes. But here in Arizona, things are very quiet. Speaking of quiet, the convective outlook for today, no organized severe weather, hardly any thunder to be found across the country, as most of the nation remains in cool, stable air. And here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through next Friday morning from the WPC. No rain in the valley, nothing statewide. This map is ostensibly blank because, really, this pattern is not going to change too much. Now, as I mentioned, there is a little bit of uncertainty as we get out toward latter portions of next week. We'll talk about that and everything else now as we dive into modeling. Here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run. This is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. An elongated upper ridge sitting over the north and northeast Pacific and a trough over the nation's midsection and in the Great Lakes. We are under a rather fast-moving, fairly laminar northwesterly flow here. So what that means for us down at the surface today, sunny sky, it's a dry air mass, high temperatures right around 70. Tonight, clear sky, overnight lows mostly in the 40s, and then tomorrow, again, mostly sunny sky, high temperatures, low 70s. I expect we'll get into the mid-70s on Sunday with a small increase in clouds as we head out toward Monday and even into Tuesday, but the main storm track will remain well to the north of Arizona, and so temperatures will just remain a little bit above average, but no 
major warm-ups anticipated at this point. Here's Wednesday, and the GFS shows a broad but weak wave approaching the area. And so we'll start to see more clouds coming into the mix, and temperatures might drop back a couple of degrees here. By Thursday, the GFS is even portraying uh, widely scattered, maybe even scattered rain and snow showers over the state. This would be a light precipitation event if this verifies, but really, I'm not expecting a whole lot of moisture with this feature. This is just not a, a system that's going to tap into any deep subtropical moisture. So uh, maybe a brief rain event uh, late next week, but there's still a lot of uncertainty. Let me show you. This is the European same time. This is Wednesday, and it's got a wave much further to the south, actually, closing off into an upper low ultimately by Thursday over northern Mexico. And if that verifies, then precipitation would actually stay to the south of us, and it would generally be light rain at that. All right, let's uh, go back to a week from today. This is coming off of the GFS. This is Friday the 12th. Got a deep vortex there over Minnesota and the western Great Lakes. And that's very cold and just a big wintry mess up that way. But around here, again, a northwesterly flow, weak little waves coming through to give us periods of clouds, but that's about it. And then as we go out 10 days, this is Sunday the 14th, we've got a wave coming through the southwest, cooler temperatures, and again, widely scattered to scattered rain and mountain snow showers over a good portion of the state. So maybe some precipitation way out here toward 10 days. But again, there is quite a bit of model uncertainty in that idea. All right, let's take a look at rainfall for the Phoenix area. This is coming off of the European Ensemble over the next couple of weeks. The control member is up there uh, close to a quarter of an inch. The Ensemble mean much less than that. And you got 51 members here. What about maybe half or so are showing precipitation uh, in the next couple of weeks. So we'll just have to see. There is evidence that the pattern might start to flip a little bit out there toward middle or late February. All right, temperatures off of the national blend of models. Yep, highs mostly in the 70s, lows in the 40s, and low 50s. Pretty typical stuff for mid-February. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here on Monday morning. Of course, updates before that if necessary. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. You guys be safe out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.